I'm going to tell you a variation of the D monkey. This one's called an Einer monkey. Uh, what I'm going to tie it on is this, which is a, a silver crimp. This is about 8 millimeters long. And I'm going to put then a flexible 2 millimeter uh, tube in the center of it. I'm just going to flame the end of that tube in. And then slide on my crimp. near the end. I'm going to take my double needle and I'm going to coat the tube there in super glue and then slide that back onto it. Then I'm going to cut off leaving maybe five mil or so of tubing out the front. as well. So now I'm going to set uh, a pin up the center of that and put it into my HMH holder and tighten it down. Using black tie and silk on this one. Once I get a bit on there I'm going to get a good glob of super glue onto my double needle and let that soak in, hopefully to wick slightly up the tube and hold it in place while we're tightening the fly. Okay. So, simple fly. First what we need here is a yellow soft tackle. So I'm going to strip off the flue from that one and then I'm going to double the hackle and remove the tip and I tie it in across its tip on my side fold it back a couple of wraps to secure it so we use our hackle pliers itself and trim the waist ends off. So for the underwing I'm going to use this which is a black fox mask and I'm going to cut out a small bunch of that and now I want to grab it by the tips and remove the shortest of the fur. And I swap hands again and I just neaten up that end. And with the dub and needle I'm going to apply a little smear of super glue just to the end of those. And then I want to get that tied in just behind the burr of the front of the tube. And wrap backwards. Now, I'm going to put a bit of flash in here. This is a type of a light bright, I suppose, called silver iris. Uh, it is a mixture of both silver and pearl fibers. So I'll tie that in across the middle, fold it back on a couple of turns just to keep it in place. And then I want to Clip off the ends there, but not just a block end. Next portion of the wing is a longer black fur. I'm going to use fox fiber here. Cut that off. Now I'm trying this to be 60 mil. So I take my ruler and set it on it. Measure it for length and then trim that off. 
I take my dubbing needle again, add a little bit of super glue just to the very ends of it, and again set it up on top of the tube and line it up to the back end of the burr here. And then before it dries, get it bound down. I was just using the thumbnail there just to splay that out a little bit around the tube. And then we'll brush that in. Now we want to put on a couple of strands of Mirage. So I'll pull out one strand. This is Peacock Mirage. Tie it in for length. Fold it back on itself. And then cut that strand off the length of the wing as well. For the top of the wing we're going to use uh, Peacock Hurl. So I'm going to Take out a few strands. Check them for shape. So what I'm going to do, I want the, them to lay on the wing a bit better, so I'm just using my nail to put a little bit of curvature into them. And then they're tied in on top of the wing trim off the waist ends. And to finish this fly off uh, we're going to add jungle cock. What I'm doing here is I'm separating out the fibres just to leave me the tip. I nip that off because I only want really short jungle cock on this one. Set that up on this side, and then I'll take another one the same for the far side. Strip off the flue, I'll set that up, hold it in position, and put a wrap across it. super glue down my chain thread and take that last one or two turns rearwards and that will set that jungle cock in position. So that's the fly tide, we just need to finish the head. So a whip finish. Make that off. And then I'm going to use the first coat. I'm going to use my double needle and the super glue again. And then just with the rotational function of the vase, just take that around and make a nice even coat. that dries off then it'll get a coat of clear varnish, Sally Hansen hard as nails, and it'll also get a little portion of junction tubing just put on the back if you so wish or you can fish it as a free swinging hook. But that is a an iron monkey.